So the idea for National History Day, I think, first began when I was teaching middle school, teaching eighth grade for five or six years at my old school. And we had a magnet program that was based around academic research and project based learning. And we found that it definitely uh, increased the students output as well as their quality of writing and kind of the post uh, research process. Yeah. And when you came in, you had to share that idea with me because we really wanted to kind of revamp the ninth grade curriculum to give the ninth grade like an audience, like a real audience to present their work to because they worked so hard, but they didn't really have others to share their work with besides themselves and their families. And so we wanted them to understand what is it like to really be a historian because those are the skills that are going to allow them to succeed in future years too. And we realized we really wanted to focus on those skills, I would say too. And I think in the post research process, process it has really proven that they have grown as writers, as researchers, and as young historians. And I really love the fact that they can realize their own voice because they, though they are given the theme, they get to choose what's interesting to them. And I think a lot of times when students come into a history class, they're like, oh, it's history, like what am I gonna learn? And this gives them not only voice, but choice in what they wanna say and how they wanna say it. And we really, like when we were talking a lot, I would say that we really wanted them to have the passion and excitement for history that we have um, when they first come in. Because it's such a big thing, because we're kind of like the stepping stone to the rest of the history classes, and we want them to be prepared. Correct, and I think giving that voice also allows them, they're not just doing research, and they're not just doing history, but they're also integrating by doing the iMovie documentary, they're integrating those 21st century skills, in which we bring technology into the course as well. So it adds variety, and they're not just sitting there memorizing dates, like you know you would have done 20 and, years yeah, ago. Yeah, well, and they're also understanding how to find reliable sources, because the thing is, you have the same event, but different sources will give you different perspectives. And I think the really important thing for them to grasp is that it's okay that we all don't agree. It's okay that we see things differently, but we need to see the whole picture and understand how to talk about it. And it's just been, to me, so beautiful to see them interacting with each other and to see them really take on this role as a historian, whether or not they realize it.